Today we're going to measure the cogging torque of a brushless DC motor that has a linear actuator mechanism built into it. In order to test it, we have to engage the shaft or the magnetic assembly, and we're going to do that by using the threads in the actuator mechanism. So we screw this piece in. This has a hex in the top of it that will engage the hex on our drive. Now we're going to mount this onto a fixture that allows us to put this into the collet mechanism on the system. And we're going to do this with one single screw just to make sure it doesn't come out or it doesn't move during the course of the test. Now we've tightened the screw. Now we're going to put this into the collet mechanism on the test head. Snug up the collet. And before we engage it, the first time, we're going to go here to File, and we're going to load a configuration. And we're going to load a configuration that I created for Electrocraft. Uh, we're going to say Load. Now the system is ready to go. So before we do anything, we're going to zero it. And we're going to do one other thing. We're going to change the scaling on the graph so that it, we get a better representation as it runs the test. So we'll go here to Graph Options, and we're going to set the <coughs> Y scale, the Y scale high end for three, and we're going to and we're going to set the low end for minus three, and we're going to set the increment for 0.1. We say OK. That will set the scaling on the screen. And we're going to go, that is a little bit too fine, so I'm going to change this one more time. I'm going to go back here to graph options and we're going to make this 1, not 0.1. And we say OK. Now we have a good representation of what it should look like on the screen when we run the test. So we will now engage, engage the hex mechanism. Hit the start button, say OK, And now the test is complete, and we have the graph on the screen of what it looks like with cursors that we can use for making measurements.